Hey everyone, my name is Mo Saha. I'm an artist, coloring book author, and an avid art journaler. And today, I'm experimenting with a product that is brand new to me. And that is the Graphics Incredible White Mask Liquid Frisket. It came as a little kit. I have just opened the um, bag and it says it's the incredible white mask liquid frisket kit that came with a little bit of a booklet with information on techniques surfaces and uh, related products and I am working with the two fluid ounce bottle and it came with this little tool the dipstick which my understanding is I dip in this uh, frisket and then apply it on the surface. And this is the eraser, you know, so once the uh, color is dry, you can erase it with this. It's, it's an eraser for that purpose. Before I start with the frisket, I want to introduce you to the surface that I'm using. In the past, I have used liquid masks. I have used it on watercolor paper. This time I'm using the opaque white craft plastic, uh, which is a 12 inch by 12 inch size. I'm going to cut it smaller. Um, and I have used this product in the past with watercolor and I was so pleasantly surprised that a plastic could respond to watercolor in such a wonderful way. So I am bringing the craft plastic and the frisket together to see how it goes for me and I am a total novice with both of these products. So let's see, I have cut out an egg shape, you know, like in the theme of spring. So on this little egg shape, there is a small scene with a bunny and a chick. And my goal is to see if the frisket would pro uh, protect the plastic surface or if it is better to use it just on paper, I don't know, I have no experience with this. So you are gonna see with me how it goes. I had to change the ISO setting on my camera to make sure that what I'm doing is actually visible. So I am taking my liquid frisket, let me read the directions, always read directions. It says high quality frisket, non-staining, easily removable, smooth flowing, quick drying and tintable for use with all water based mediums. Use on art papers, board, glass, wood, leather, metal and ceramics. Do not use on fabric. Okay, so it does not talk about the plastic. So hence the experiment. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm dipping it directly into this little by little. So either this is going to turn out the way I hope it does or it won't. Either ways, I'm going to learn something by doing it and you're going to hopefully learn something by watching me. You know, even on the plastic, it is moving very smoothly. It's a tad bit hard to see because it's, you know, a lot of white on white. I suppose this can be tinted. And I might be misreading or misunderstanding that. But for today, I am sticking with the product right out of the bottle. And eventually, I'll learn how to do a better job with this. Okay, as the frisket starts to dry... I am able to see it separately, distinctly from the rest of the plastic. This is a very basic first time user kind of experiment. So bear that in mind. You may already have more experience with this. And if not anything it might amuse you a little to see how a novice learns. I have a feeling I might be using too much frisket because I still haven't developed the control with the dipstick. 
So what this is basically doing is putting um, thin film onto the design surface so that when this dries, if I paint over it, I don't have to worry about the lines. I like to use the broad side of it, but when I'm coming to the uh, finer curves and corners, I'm turning, but I like the motion, the feeling of the dipstick on the plastic surface as I am dragging the frisket along. Is dragging the right word? I, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to let this dry. I know that the, if I use a heat tool, it's not going to hurt the plastic. So let me try. Okay, so there is no curling of the plastic or anything and the plastic hasn't turned incredibly hot or anything. Obviously, I can handle it. So it is safe to do that. There is no um, s uh, foul smell or anything. So um, let me move on to the painting part. And I'm going to remind you again that this is an experiment for me and if it turns out to be a disaster, it's only a learning experience. Okay, so I am bringing in some Faber-Castell pan watercolors. Any watercolors would do. I have used different brands of watercolors in the past and they work, they all work as they should with liquid masks. But this is a new for me combination, so let's see how it works out. As you can see, the frisket is protecting the design. It says uh, that uh, on the product that it is very important for the uh, paper or the surface to be dry before we try to move the frisket. Now that I'm working on a plastic surface, I'm slightly worried that it might pull up some of the watercolor paint from underneath. But you know, once I do it, I will know. Oh, nice. It's not actually erasing the paint on the um, plastic itself. It's just removing the frisket, which is nice. It's very satisfying to see the design come right back out emerge again from under the veil of paint. Um, I don't know if I want to add details. I just like the, you know, childish, a uh, dip dyed egg kind of feel to this. And I want to add happy spring up here on the little banner that I made. See, once the frisket is removed, I'm going right on top of the plastic with my watercolor and writing and it is accepting the paint just as it did the first time when I was doing the wash. So this is what my egg looks like. Let me bring it up closer 
so you can see all the marbling effect that happened due to the free flow of the watercolor and just a little bit of outline and obviously you can take it many places you know you can go way more detailed but even for just starters this is kind of delightful I liked it so to revisit the products I just used I used the incredible white mask liquid frisket that came in the two fluid ounce bottle and the kit comes with an eraser and a dipstick and I used some watercolors and most importantly I also used it on a plastic surface which was delightful it's the opaque white plastic uh, from graphics and I hope you enjoyed this little experiment today and are going to do something with this unconventional combinations of things and let me know how you enjoy the product. Bye for now.